In this video, we're going to learn how to make our own strchr function in C. So the strchr function is found in the string.h library. So the first thing we'll do is include that library. The function returns a pointer to the first occurrence of a character in a string. So if we have a string like this, car star string is equal to this is my string. We could get a pointer to the first occurrence of the character uppercase M in this string by using the strchr function. So we'll have car star first underscore M is equal to strchr, and then we'll have string and the character uppercase M. So the function accepts as arguments a pointer to a string in memory and a character. And the function is going to return a pointer to the first occurrence of this character in the string. So we're going to store that into first underscore m. And it should be a pointer to this character here. So then if we use printf and output the string starting at that character, we should get my string. So we'll have first underscore m colon percent s to output a string and then backslash n for a new line. And then we'll have first underscore m. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we get my string here. So that's how the function works. Now, if the function can't find the character in the string, it's going to return null. So if we called the function with this string and uppercase Z as the character, we would expect the function to return null because there is no uppercase Z character in this string. So we'll try that. We'll have car star first Z is equal to strchr string and uppercase Z. Now the function should return null. So let's check for that. If first underscore Z is equal to null, we'll output no uppercase Z found, followed by a new line. And we can save, compile, and run this. And we do get no uppercase Z found because the function did return null. So that's the expected behavior of the function. Now let's try to implement our own version of the function. So the function declaration looks like this car star because the function returns a pointer to a character in the string. And we'll start the name of the function off with an underscore to differentiate our version of the function from the official version of the function. And then we'll have str chr. And the first parameter to the function is going to be a const car pointer to the string. And the second parameter is going to be the character itself. We'll have int c here for the character. So const car star is going to mean that we have a mutable pointer. So we can change what this parameter is pointing to. Initially, it's going to be pointing to the first character in the string, which is going to be this one here. But the pointer itself is going to be mutable. So we can change it and have it point to subsequent characters in the string, for example. But the const here means we can't change what the pointer is pointing to. In other words, we can't change the values in the string itself. So we couldn't change this character here to like an A or something like that. But we don't want to do that anyways. So using the const keyword is just making it clear and definitive that we're not going to be changing the contents of the string. It might be a bit surprising that the second parameter here has an int type, given that here we're passing character values as the second argument of the function. But remember that in C, characters are ultimately represented with integer values using some character encoding to represent each character. So let's actually supply a definition of this function now. So down here, we'll create our definition of the function. So remember that str is a pointer to the first character in the string. We could use pointer arithmetic to modify what str is pointing to. So str plus plus will change str and have a point to the next character in the string. We could access the character that str is pointing to by dereferencing the pointer. So star str will dereference the pointer and give us the character that str is currently pointing to. We can use these two operations to help us find the character in the string. So we'll create a while loop and the while loop is going to increment the str pointer with each iteration of the loop. So this way the while loop can access each character in the string. The while loop is going to stop when the str pointer is pointing to the special null terminator character that terminates the string. So we'll have, so long as the str pointer is not pointing to the 
null terminator character, we're going to continue the loop. In this way, the while loop is going to loop through each character in the string. So then in the loop body, we can check to see if the character that str is currently pointing to is equal to the character that we're looking for. If it is, we can return the pointer. We can return str. So str is a const car pointer because this function is not going to modify the actual string that str is pointing to. Now it's possible that the programmer using this function is going to use it with a string that they're going to modify elsewhere in their code. So that's why the function actually returns a car pointer type. So what we'll do is cast this pointer to a car pointer. So that way we return a pointer of the correct type and the compiler doesn't give us a warning about this either. Now it's possible that by the end of this while loop, we haven't found the character in the string. In that case, we want to return null. So down here, we're going to have return null for the case that the character is not found in the string. So now we can test our function out. Up here, we're going to replace these calls to the official version of the function with calls to our version of the function. So we'll put an underscore in front of the function name. So now we can save, compile, and run the program. And for the character uppercase M, we get back that the remaining portion of the string is my string. And in the case of the character uppercase Z, we get back no Z found. Exactly the same as with the official version of the function. So our version of the function is working. And this is how we can create our own strchr function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.